Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to explore the difference between the time domain versus the frequency domain circuit. And the main difference between the time domain and the frequency domain is when we go to the frequency domain, we're basically dealing with phasers. When we're going to the time domain, we're dealing with the voltage and the current as a function of time. So we're talking about sinusoidal kind of functions in this case. And here we're talking about looking at the circuit via the phase diagrams. So when we calculate the transfer function in this particular instance, where we have a capacitor and a resistor coupled, or not coupled, but connected to a input voltage, we can then calculate the transfer function by realizing that it's going to be the ratio of the output voltage over the input voltage. The output voltage is across the capacitor, the input voltage across the whole circuit, the resistor and the capacitor, Knowing, notice then, when we go to the phase components of that, the output voltage is going to be 1 over J omega C, and the input voltage is going to be the sum of the resistance and the reactance of the capacitor. Then when we do the algebra on that, we can see that the transfer function can then be defined as 1 over 1 plus J omega RC, or if we then replace R by 1 over omega sub naught C, where, of course, by definition, that's where you're going to have the 0.707 ratio of the transfer function of the output voltage over the input voltage. We can then have the transfer function be equal to 1 over 1 plus J times omega over omega sub naught. Now, notice that if omega sub naught is defined as 1 over RC, then the time constant is RC, so basically omega sub naught is the inverse of the time constant of the circuit. Now also notice we can calculate the magnitude of the transfer function and the phase angle of the transfer function. Now notice I both faces H because H is actually in the frequency domain and of course we use phasers for that. And so when we talk about the magnitude of the transfer function that is equal to 1 over the square root of the two components squared, the 1 squared plus omega over omega sub naught squared. This is of course due to the resistance. This is the ratio of the frequency of the circuit to omega sub naught, where omega sub naught is 1 over the time constant. To calculate the phase angle, it's going to be the inverse tangent of the ratio of the frequency of the input voltage, in this case, divided by omega sub naught, again where omega sub naught is defined by the inverse of the time constant. So hopefully that will give you a good insight in what the transfer function is in this particular example. Notice it's simply calculating the output voltage divided by the in input voltage in the phasor domain called the frequency domain. And so that's the difference between the time domain and the frequency domain in a circuit. That's how it's done.